It's important when making good decisions regarding costs that we only count those costs that are truly going to be affected by the decisions that we're making. There are many things that have the label of costs but shouldn't necessarily be counted as costs in any decision-making process that we engage in. One particularly important example of this is that of sunk costs. Sunk costs are ones that we've already committed that we cannot reverse and since, hence, since these can't be affected by our, our decision, they shouldn't be counted as a cost of making that decision. So one example of this is, let's suppose you do go ahead and attend university, you sign up for your classes, you pay your tuition, you find out that university is actually horrible and you don't want to be there. But you say to yourself, well, I've already paid for this, it would be a waste for me to stop attending now. This is an example of what we call the sunk cost fallacy. The idea that we should persist with something even though uh, we can't affect how much we're going to pay for it simply because we've already paid a lot for it. These sunk costs should not be included in our decision-making process. <laughs>